All right, on my way to Interkip again and taking some detours. <laughs> a little a little off the beaten path. Any good for snorkeling? <laughs> to me I was that was hilarious the back roads taking the detour the inner kip side there but yeah it so gets really tight over there and then sometimes you're really close to people that annoy you you know so uh, there's girls over there but whatever we're here to, we're here to snorkel all right Did you spot us? 
first fish of the day. So yeah, I was wondering uh, how deep it is down there. I'm not sure of the actual depth, but uh, I did see a video of some uh, scuba divers that um, it seemed to be a lot of light down there. It was uh, I think they have a school bus and a, maybe a couple vehicles. They actually, have a kind of a creepy uh, a skeleton type thing down there. Well, it's actually like a mannequin skeleton or something like that, but uh, kind of interesting for a scuba diver to come upon. But, uh, yeah, it's, the water is just super clear there. It's, uh, it's beautiful. I love the blues and the greens. They're just a, a healthy looking lake. Here we're coming up on a little uh, little cave of some sort. I'm certain there's something in there. I really want to investigate, so uh, move along. I kind of noticed that uh, a lot more fish on this side of the lake. I don't know if it's the warmer water on this side. There might be more shade on the other side, but uh, maybe it's because there's no fishing lines on this side. Not too much garbage in it either, a, a little bit here and there, but uh, it's not too bad. It's nice to see people are respectful of it. Let it stay nice and green and blue. And I had to uh, get this shot. It's actually not coming through as bright as as what uh, when I first looked at it, but yeah, it's brightening up there. I think the sun is hitting it more, but uh, gorgeous. I love that. Love it. And we have a little weed forest here or something, some kind of... Yeah, like I say, I wanted to swim around the whole lake, the edge of the lake. Um, it's basically where it's the only place you can see anything you can't... Uh, oh, okay. If I, if I were to swim to my my left there, there would be uh, nothing to see, just blue. And so I stayed along the edge, along the cliff wall. And, um, right now, I'm, I'm just in my glory. It's uh, I'm just loving every minute of it. I'm completely relaxed. And, uh, looking forward to what's up ahead. What, what am I going to see? You know, all these fish. I mean, the, the lake is just absolutely loaded with fish. I think they stock it every year. I think probably uh, a couple thousand, a few thousand uh, fish in there. Um, and I got this little guy. In a beautiful green bed of seaweed, lake weed. Uh, yeah, just enjoying it, just uh, loving it. It was really up until here, uh, everything was fine, and then uh, I think further as we go. Oh, there's my, uh, my new flippers, <laughs> the pretty blue flippers that were hurting my toes. So I was having to, to go back. I just wanted to keep going, but the problem was, is from oh. just about here on on out, there was uh, my my glasses just that. kept fogging up, just way too much. I couldn't see anything, and I didn't really know what I was uh, recording. And I think I think at this point I could vaguely see that fish. It was just because it was so big, I could see it. But it was, uh, yeah, at this point it's just getting uh, really foggy. And I think uh, at this, I, I'm looking for a place to, to surface. Dinner kip. And a beautiful day. I went uh, snorkeling. I went uh, most of the way around the lake. I wanted to uh, swim all the way around, but um, 
uh, the new uh, the new fins that I have for uh, they were hurting my toes. So, uh, and not to mention that wasn't the big problem. The big problem was uh, my mask just kept uh, fogging up like crazy. And so, you know, I'd swim like 10 or 15 feet or maybe more or whatever. Not far, and it would just get fogged up. Much love. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.